green frog. It's swimming, it's swimming, it's swimming. Five little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But only four little ducks came back. Yeah! Where's some water? Do you want some water? Woo! Who's a good boy? Who's a very good boy? Hello, babies. Mummy's back. Like a light. Do you think you sleep through? Please God. I hate missing bath times. Yeah. Uh, not for me. I'm seeing Karen tonight. Since when? You told me this morning. No, you didn't. I did. Not I'll only get an hour, and I haven't seen him in ages. What? Come in last night? You were dead to the world, I didn't want to wake you. Did you hear anything odd last night? On the baby mold? What do you mean odd? Some kind of interference from next door, I don't know. Can't be the neighbours, they're away. Why? Just wonder. 
call me, will you? I always do. No, you don't. See you later. Monday. Sorry for coming with the baby and all. Yeah, I would have come alone, except that there's no one that can take me during the day. It's okay, it's fine, don't worry. Um, Martin, this is Robert Bridge. Robert's writing a book about what I do, and if you've got no objections, he'd like to sit in on our conversation. It's an academic publication. I wouldn't use your real name, of course. Sure. Who's this? Tom. I'm going to make some tea. Do you take milk and sugar? Yes, thanks. So, Martin, what can I do for you? I'm not sure, really. Um, this isn't something I've done before. I'm not really, um... I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I haven't got any tea bags. Oh, don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here, really. Uh, it's all been a bit, um... This is gonna sound a bit mad. I keep hearing it. It's the baby monitor. There are these sounds. What sort of sounds? I thought at first it was interference, you know, like a radio from next door or something like that, but it's not. It's something else. What? I don't know. But I think it's about Tom. If you'd like to leave a message, go ahead after the beep. Hi, it's me. Um, checking in as requested. Um, pick up if you're there. Martin. Change. I mean, I've had to become a house husband, give up my job. Totally different. Miss Alison. So Ruth got her diploma when she was pregnant. She earns more than me, so I suppose it's a financial decision, really. The thing is, if look, if she knew I'd contacted a medium, she might understand. It's just up there. Ruth got a form. Can I have a minute? Do you mind? What happened to the bath? Oh, it's the taps. They keep dripping. I me mean mad. Oh my God, Robert, are you all right? Is everything all right? Uh, I don't know. Sure, you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. When you were in the nursery, did you did you sense anything? No, why? Nothing. It's just wondered. What's bothering you? Nothing. I, I had a dizzy spell. That's all. It's just it felt strange. I don't know. I just felt something unusual. That's all. What do you mean by unusual? Are you sure you're okay to drive? Forget it. Just forget it.
I'll get you a drink of water. Do you want a biscuit? I fainted. I didn't give blood. What the hell's this? It's okay. Sit down. Alison, what are you doing? Stop. Stop that. Put it down. I'll clean it up. I didn't do it. Alison, what the hell are you doing? Stop. Put it down. Put it down. I've got to do it again. No, no. Try it again. No, stop this. Try it again. I didn't do it. I, I know, I know. I didn't do it. Calm down. I didn't do it. Listen to me, Alison, 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 Alison. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't do it. She did. Who? My mother. My mother did it. You told me your mother was dead. My mother did it. She used to throw stuff away. She used to clean up all the time. She used to say that everything was dirty. You think she's here now? Alison, we really need to talk about this. Will you go now? It's just you weren't in when I called. Oh, yeah, the message. I know, I know, late start. Yes, well, you've got things on your mind. What do you, what do you mean? I saw Jude last night. Don't. Okay, okay. Don't, Barb. What did she say? She seemed happy. I just wanted to say, I think it's great. Look, we haven't even talked about it yet. It could be nothing. Just don't. According to Sartre, hell is other people. Some may think it's having to sit through one of his entire plays. <laughs> But what if your self-esteem was so low, your ego so smashed, you feel you didn't deserve even other people? Wouldn't the worst possible hell be the one you were trapped in right now? Yourself? Heaven may be a story we tell ourselves to keep the fear of death at bay, but it's also an example of how belief in an imagined future, eternal paradise, can help transcend our experience of the material world. It can provide us with comfort and reassurance, it can give some people the strength they need to live, others the strength they need to die. The Cathars... The... 
Sorry. Um, the Cathars of medieval France believe... <laughs> Sorry, just give me a minute. Thanks so much for coming back. I really wouldn't have asked if I hadn't been, um... Thank you. It's okay. baby died here. It doesn't mean that yours will. It's just something terrible that happened. I knew it. I knew that there was something. You know, what about the voice in the baby monitor? I didn't pick up on that. I don't know anything about that. I'm sorry, I know that that's not what you want to hear. But I... It's all I can say. Severe. Sometimes. I, I thought eye strain, you know, computer screens, mm. bad lighting. When did they first become more serious? A couple of weeks ago, a month maybe. Does anyone in your close family have a history of epilepsy? Epilepsy? The results of your EEG would seem to indicate that. I see. I'll book you in for a CT scan. That should tell us more. If necessary, we'll follow up with an MRI. Alison, this isn't a good time. Um, about the house, I think you might have been right. Y you said that you felt something strange in the bathroom. No, Alison, I said... No, I, I went back there. Something horrible happened there. Actually, I don't think I felt anything at all. Not the way you mean. But you said that... I had a headache. But you're denying that something strange happened to you in that house. No, I'm not. I, I had a headache, a migraine. I fainted. End of story. But... Really, this isn't a good time. I'll call you. you should get out more. Why? I think you need adult company. I've got you, haven't I? Well, other adults. Oh, right. Tea and biscuits in an overheated room with the yummy mummies competing over how fast our kids are developing. Isn't it amazing how actually satisfying motherhood can actually be? You need an objective view, I think. Oh, what? I go mental? I think you're under a lot of strain lately. I, I tell you I'm worried that something's wrong, and what do you do? Deny it point blank. 
Or maybe you're right. Maybe I should get out more. Maybe I should go for a drink with Karen. What's that mean? It was Karen you were seeing last night, wasn't it? Well, who else would it be? It is over. So you say. That won't help you. <laughs> you should listen to yourself. Look, it's not easy for me either. Working the hours that I do, wanting to be home with Tom, knowing well, that's I... the least we can afford the house of our dreams, huh? What is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. Then why are you acting so weird? Okay. You know, when I go out, I need to know that Tom is safe. Yes. It's safe. I need to know that I can trust you. I'm right? his father! Then act like it! I change the nappies. I wake up the sick. I get the crying all day. It's not all happy birthday, cozy bedtime with mom. Then what are you talking about? I'm talking about your behaviour is going... What now? Something happened in the house. You told me at the time that you felt something. Yes, nausea and dizziness. That's not what you meant. Oh, right. What did I mean since you're reading minds now? What's wrong with you? I don't understand. Why have you changed your mind? I haven't changed my mind. Nothing happened. I don't believe you. Why are you so bothered about the house anyway? What's the big deal? You didn't feel anything either. Well, not then, but I went back. A baby died there. Oh, right. Now I see how it works. Somebody else's tragedy gives you the excuse to ignore the issue that really matters. It's your feelings about your mother. My mother is not an issue. That is not what this is about. You know nothing about my mother. How am I supposed to talk to you, Robert? How am I supposed to trust you if you keep moving the goalposts like this? I don't understand the way you think. I don't know what's going on in your head. I don't like it, and I don't appreciate it. If it's not a good time. No, it's great. He's down. It's a good time. Come through. I wasn't planning on... I don't think I should stay here tonight. Okay. It's not that I don't want to, it's just... It's just I don't want to jeopardize something before it even begins, you know? No expectations, no promises, no overanalyzing. In fact, no analyzing at all. Well, that, that could be difficult. Let's just see what happens. Sounds good. Good. I will have a cup of tea, though. You know where it is. Excuse me. Morning. Hi, morning, Anne. You know this area, don't you? You know this house? Sure. What happened here? What happened in this house? He killed him. He killed the baby. It drowned. Died in the bath. Everyone knew about it. It was an accident. You only left the room for a minute, but of course it was his fault. His responsibility. His wife left him. He just stayed in the house. I suppose he couldn't leave. He was drinking by then. A lot. Things just went downhill. What do you mean? He drank himself to death. And he's still there. Look, what can I do? I don't know. Come to the house. Please. Just, just come to the house and... and I, I don't know, to talk to him or, or something. Please, please. So how do you want to proceed? Do you want to start up? Where have you been, Martin? I thought you were going to tell me when you... Hello. Hi. Ruth, this is Alison. She's come to help. What kind of help? With the noises, the... the voice. She's a medium. There's something in this house... What are you talking about? 
It's just interference. It's something to do with the atmospherics. No, no, it's more than that. I beg your pardon. She didn't sense anything the first time she was here, but... The first? Oh, she's been here before. In my house. I invited her. When? Why didn't you tell me? Because I knew you'd be like this. What, rational? She heard it. She heard it too. Of course she heard it. She's a clairvoyant. That's what they do. They hear things. That's how they get paid. What? Are you worried about money now? No, Martin, it's not the money I object to. It's the fact that my husband is hearing voices from the wall. Instead of talking to his wife about it or going to see a psychiatrist, he pays someone to feed his paranoid fantasies. Paranoid? This is real. It's in your head. There you go. Twisting it all around to make it my fault, my problem. It is your problem. You need help. Look, that's why she's here. She's not offering you the kind of help you need. You have to believe me. There is something wrong in this house. Uh, Martin, and it's not in my head. There's something here. How do you mean? There's a presence in this house around your son. You should go. You should leave. You're talking about my baby. I know it sounds far-fetched. You're talking about my son. Get out, please. Get out of my house. I'm sorry. Get out! Get out of my house! It's good that you brought a friend along with you. I found that people don't always take in the salient points from a meeting like this. Your CT scan revealed an abnormality, which is why we gave you an MRI as well. You have a tumour. I've discussed the results with our neurologist, and even without a biopsy, we can diagnose the tumour as malignant. The tumour is lodged in your brain stem, at the base of your skull which is why I'm afraid surgery is out of the question. I'm afraid survival rates are extremely low. You should think of your time remaining as months or weeks rather than years. There is, of course, the option of radio or chemotherapy. However, we can't guarantee that this will extend your life expectancy. And given their serious side effects, you may choose to put quality of life before treatment. This, of course, is for you to decide. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, I do.
Come to the house. Please. Just come to the house and talk to him or, or something. Please, please. Didn't you? What did he say? Tell me what you heard. What do you think we should do? Leave! We can't just leave. This is our home, Martin. She we... said we should go. Tom is in danger. How can he be in danger? There's no one there! Where would we go? I, I suppose we could go to my mother's for a few days. The car. But we can't go now. We can't go now because we need all the stuff for Tom. We need the stuff. Ruth! Please, it wants right the now. baby. What? He couldn't look after his own baby, so he wants to look after Tom. And Martin's wife won't listen to me. She won't let me near the place. I think about? that they should leave, but she won't go. No, Alison, so I no. thought that she might listen to you. So if we went round there together, you could talk to her. You could explain. Explain what? That their child is in danger. I can't do this. Oh, but we're talking about a child, a baby. Is the blue teething ring in here? Yes, I think. Call the tough cop. Where's Daddy now? Where's... Oh. Someone's been busy. Oh. You need more than a nappy. Don't you, Mr. Poo Pants? Oh, you little stinker. Yeah. All right, all right, I'll bring it. What have you been up to, huh? You made me jump, I'm sorry. So you're leaving? Yes, just going to my mum's for a few days. What changed your mind? Just gonna take a break. It's a good idea. Depressed. He's given up his job and he's at home with Tom all day, every day, I think. It's hard. What did he tell you about the man who lived here before? The one whose baby died. I heard him. Did you? It's impossible. It's ridiculous. He said I was a bad mother. Who did? Martin or the voice? The voice. 
Unless, I don't know, Martin? Mother duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Over on ITV3. If you want to understand me, watch my movies. Robert Downey Jr. stars as the comic genius Chaplin. And back here. Coming up on Parkinson, we've got Hollywood royalty in the form of Liza Minnelli, the first lady of rock, Sharon Osbourne, and music and talk from Lionel Richie. Don't miss it. Parkinson, here on ITV1.